Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to, or I'm going to show you guys how you can actually pick up an item and drop it as well. Uh, ever since my last video on how to pick up an item, I got loads of uh, questions saying, oh, can you also show us how we can drop that uh, object or game object, whatever, right? So let's get straight into this. So the first thing that we need is... Uh, I did reset the whole scene, so yeah, let's start over. I'm not going to be using a flashlight in this video, I'm going to be using a gun. Okay, so I'm going to be using this little but bit gun right here, which I got from the asset store. Uh, this has, you know, the basic stuff. It isn't, uh, like, it doesn't have any children or whatever, that's exactly what we need. Now, the first few things that we're going to need are all of the components, obviously. So first of all, I'm actually gonna do 90, just so that looks like it's laying flat. There we go. Then we gotta add a rigid body. Leave it as is, that's good enough. Then we're going to need a mesh collider so that the gun doesn't like fall through the floor when we pick it up. Next thing we need is a box collider as the trigger. Uh, I'm also going to be, I don't know, give it a 555. Five, five. Uh, yeah, something like that, why not? Now let's create the script, because that's where the fun stuff begins. Okay, so let's create a script, C sharp script. I'm going to call this equip. Oh, wait, what happens? Equip uh, weapon. Or whatever. You can call this whatever you like. So, what I'm actually going to do, guys, is Oh, actually, let me go back. Sorry, I forgot something. Because we're going to, when we pick it up, child it underneath our camera, our first person camera. So in here, because um, we need a parent and I guess you could use the camera, but honestly, oh not, no, wait, hold on. Because if you use the camera, then the gun is going to like spawn or, you know, get put exactly where the camera is. So we won't be able to see it. So we're going to create an empty object in, or you know, as a child of the camera. I'm going to call this weapon parent, something like that. Okay, that's good. Now this is going to be where your gun is going to be. <laughs> so I'm just going to put it forward, down, and a bit to the right. I mean, we can adjust this. Uh, as you like, but I guess that this is pretty good. Uh, we'll see how it looks when we actually do pick up the weapon. Okay, so going back to the script. Uh, where's the script? There we go. Let's get rid of that. Uh, we, Yeah, we do need to start because, yeah, okay. So the first thing, we're gonna need two variables. So the first thing is going to be for the gun itself. I guess you could, you know, say this dot game object, but honestly, this is, uh, you know, how oh, I like it. I cannot even type. Okay, there we go. So the gun. Now we're going to need a public transform. And this is going to be the weapon parent that we just created. So in our start method, because we don't want the weapon um, to be, you know, to have gravity right on the start. So we're gonna say gun dot get components the rigid body, and we're gonna say is kinematic true, just for safety reasons. Get rid of that. We don't need it. Okay. So um, in our update, I'm just gonna say if input dot get key key code dot Hmm, this is going to be for our drop, so I'm just going to say F. We're going to pick up our weapon with E and drop it with F, yeah? And then we're going to create a function called drop. Here, we're going to say void drop. We need to set the gun, its transform, uh, or we, we need to give it like a new um, effective tree. So. What I'm going to do is we're going to say gun dot transform dot Euler angles is a new vector three 
gun dot transform dot position dot x or yeah comma I'm just gonna copy this line and we're gonna say z comma paste it again and it's going to be the y cap it off okay so obviously when we drop the weapon we're gonna give it like a new uh, you know position or you know Euler angles whatever then we're gonna say gun dot get component actually forgot to do something but I'm gonna do it just in a minute don't worry get component the rigid body dot um is kinematic false because we want the weapon to fall to the floor yeah uh, and and also we need to say gun so it's get component mesh render or mesh collider sorry dot uh, oh my god dot enabled is true and we need to say the gun parent or weapon parent whatever weapon parent dot detach children because we want you know to detach the child <laughs> makes sense okay so that is for our drop now we're gonna do the, um, the equip so void equip uh, equip okay so when our equip weapon we're gonna say dot get components the rigid body so this is when we picked up the gun Gonna say is kinematic is kinematic. Uh, true, sorry, true. I'm gonna say gun dot transform dot position is going to be the weapon parent dot uh, transform dot position. I'm gonna copy this whole line, paste it underneath, and this is going to be the rotation. Just like so. Um, and also, we just for safety reasons, we're gonna say go. Wait, hold on, I'm just gonna copy this line. I'm gonna paste it here and we're gonna set it to uh, false. Now, to be able to set it as a child, this isn't just going to work, right? This is not going to be. Um, oh, hold on. We called our script equip weapon, so we cannot call our function the same name. That's why it was red. Well, yeah, and then we would say gun dot transform dot set as parent. It's going to be our weapon parent. There we go. We just say gun get a transform set a new parent, which is our weapon parent. Okay, that is good. And now, obviously, to on trigger stay to pick up the weapon, we're just gonna say if other dot game object dot tag is is player uh, and we if input. Get, get key key code dot e this is pretty much the same as the previous video and then we just want to call this a function so equip and that should be good yeah that should be good let's close it off did it save hello i guess it did so in our gun, so this one, we're gonna put that script, so equip weapon. There we go. Our gun is going to be our gun. And the trans or the uh, weapon parent is going to be the this one. Click and drag it in. And now if we press on play, we should be able to pick up and drop the weapon picked up the weapon i mean you could change the weapon parent but if i go into the wait let me 
me zoom out a bit. There it is. You can see it. I mean, it looks pretty cool. And then when we press on F, it should drop. Press on E, we pick it back up. F, we drop it. So yeah, that is going to be it. Uh, if you guys want, I don't know, any more tutorials or an expansion of this, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the... Oh yeah, hold on just a second. If you guys want the same layout as, my, as, as mine, you can go here into layout and then click on... What was it? Was it tall? Yeah, tall. You will get this and just drag and drop the game view underneath. And what we can also do is window, window and then oh, where's the console? The console is here. There we go. And then we put it here. And yeah, that's actually gonna be going to be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. enjoyed. Oh my god, I cannot even speak. Sorry, guys, but, but I'm a bit sick, so my throat hurts. So, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe and like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.